Hello, this is Andre Battles with another episode of Chicken Stew from me to you. And our scripture for today is found in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, and instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. A lot of us hate the Bible. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I didn't say that you dislike it. I didn't say you've got a love-hate relationship with it. I said that we hate it. And the reason why we hate it is because we fear it. You know, there was a show not too long ago. I think it said, or the title was, Fear the Unknown, something of that nature. I'm not sure. I'd have to Google that. But, you know, when I think about what fear is, fear is a uncomfortable feeling when it comes to things that you're not sure of. And in this case, we're not sure whether the Bible is going to do us any good. I mean, it's just a book with some writing in it, right? Well, you know, you got to believe by God's grace and through his grace that it's more than just a book. That the Bible is a book that was written under the inspiration of God's Spirit so that it can do exactly what 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17 said. And that is to inspire, to profit you in the ways of God's doctrine. And doctrine is just His law and His way. And that the Bible will do that for you. You know, we were born in sin. We were born blind. We don't know. So that's why they send you to school because you didn't come into the world knowing your timetables. You didn't come in here knowing how to read and write. You gotta learn that stuff. And it took time. And how many of you loved school? I know I didn't, because it was difficult. But there is the reason for the teacher in the classroom to make what you were supposed to learn that much easier to grasp. God said, I will send you the Holy Spirit that will help you to understand the Word of God. But we still don't believe it, and we still stay away from the Word because we are too much controlled by what we feel and what we see. And if we don't feel like the Bible is beneficial, well, we'll go play a Madden NFL, or we'll go do something else because we can feel how much fun we have when we do that. Brothers and sisters, we got to stop and say, Lord, I don't really want to read this word. Be honest. The Bible tells us that the truth will set you free. And you tell God, look, it's difficult. Here's a clue. Stop and pray and ask God, what is my greatest issue? Now, you may already know the answer to that. So, for example, if your issue is lust and you watch a lot of pornography, you're sleeping with a lot of women, you're engaging in self-abuse, masturbation, then start there. Go to Google. Come on now, you've got resources. And type into Google, scriptures that help me with lust, pornography, and temptation. It's that simple. And then you start reading those, and reading them, and reading them. Praying over them when you read them. Asking God for wisdom to help you make sense out of what you're reading. And then you pray and say, God, make me new. Because you promised that the word of God is going to inspire me, that it's going to profit me, that it's going to show me what reproof, that it's going to reprove me, meaning that it's going to correct my wrongs. You told me here in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 through 17, that it's going to correct my wrongs. The Word of God has that kind of power. And I don't know any scholastic book that you had that could correct your wrongs. That may teach you how to answer questions correctly, but I don't know any book outside of that Bible that's going to correct your wrong. How does it do that? When you read it, when you absorb it, when you meditate on what you read, when you pray and you ask God for His grace and you are consistently reading it, and when you go to church and encourage your spiritual energy, when you pop up on the prayer line and encourage your spiritual energy, and yes, I do have a prayer line, all you gotta do is ask, where is the link, Pastor Battles? 
and I will respond to your comment with the link, the dates, and the times for that prayer line. But yes, these are activities that will help to encourage your spiritual journey and it will make all the difference. See, we've got to do some renovation. Some things have got to come out of the life and some things got to be added into the life. And guess what? You don't know how to do it. You don't even know where to start. Well, hello, that's why I'm telling you what to do. You ask God, what is my biggest problem? And when he identifies that problem, you then go to Google and you ask Google, what are some scriptures that help me with that problem? Then you read those scriptures and you keep reading them. You study them even, and I'll teach you how to study. You gotta come to the prayer line, hello. And then from there, you will begin to see a difference slowly but surely in your life. And you'll be glad that you listen to me. By God's grace, I wanna thank you for watching this presentation. I want you to hit the share button because this was another episode of Chicken Stew from me to you. And by God's grace, again, all you need to do is leave your comment asking for the information for the prayer line and I'll get it to you. And I will see you by God's grace right here tomorrow.